Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and thank you for hitting that like button, sharing, uh, supporting the channel, helping it to grow, helping others, helping the collective. It's all um, here for everyone to share and to um, help each other get through the energies and what they're feeling and what our, and their growth and expansion each, each month. So we're going to do a reading for my beautiful water signs, uh, Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer for the month of June. I have just put up a video about the big, super Sagittarius full moon lunar eclipse. So I do suggest you listen to that first and then listen to your signs. Um, this is also for Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm going to do a reading for the collective, see what messages need to come through for you, see what energies, validation, clarification, or anything you need to see that's coming in, and we'll do the individual signs, okay? And I'll try and time stamp them because it has been requested. Um, we'll see how we go. Now, let's see what's coming in for my water signs, Cancer. Scorpio Pisces as a collective. Uh, the super full moon in Sagittarius is an awakener, is, an, is a shaker, is a changer and a creator. So there's going to be a lot going on. That's why I decided to just jump in and do the June energies here so that you can work with that within your uh, sign. So you're going to talk to me? Um, water signs? What's the message for the water signs? What do they need to hear? What is the message? For the collective? Okay. Okay. For my lovely... Ooh, yes. Ah, oh, it's so interesting. This is coming out in every reading. Um, and it's always the third card. The third card is definitely an awakener, um, a surprise, a change, or absolute clarity. So it's very interesting that's happening in every single reading that I do. But let's get down to it. You guys are making a decision. You are moving into a new direction. This can be travel, but generally it is making a decision. Okay. A um, and you're ready to move and the adventure and the change. All right. So the second card is the star card, reward card. It's also about what are you manifesting right now, which has got a lot to do with that super, super full moon reading that I did. So listen to that. Um, it looks like you are manifesting and this manifesting star reward card, it is about reward. It is the universe trying to give to you. But it's our manifesting what you put out is what you get back. What you believe is what you get back. And that super full moon energy reading is all about awakening and breaking you out of your belief system. So this is going to be very interesting because then we've got the tower card. The tower card is the divine stepping in, bringing something down or to an end. That's why you've made a decision. Um, they are trying to help you. It is a reward, so see it as a good thing. So this is change, surprise, out of the blue, the tower comes down. I would say that's the tornado -y energy, the revelation, the epiphany. We always get a new tower. We don't have to worry about, it's not always negative. It can be, it can be a shock, a, shock, a surprise. Um, the burning tower, we always get a new tower, or it's the universe stepping in, shaking it up and changing it where you couldn't, whether that's a belief system. Yep. Definitely a decision being made about your long-term future or direction. But what the energy is saying here is um, there is an absolute complete ending to a cycle. Someone, something, job, career, person, place, Within you, within you even. A cycle within you, an emotional cycle within you. It is ended. There is no more. Even if you want to, the, the cycle is ended, okay? That's also no more pain, no more suffering. There's nothing more to learn here. It's it, The cycle's complete as well on a spiritual level. But this tower is coming in for you guys and you know, they're calling for emotional balance. Keep your emotions balanced. Keep mastered in your emotions. It could challenge your emotions. It could be someone or something coming in that will emotionally balance you, that ends a cycle that you've been in, and it's bringing in a long, slow, 
organised, set up, long term something. Whether it's a person, job, career, we'll get into that. So the, the, the Knight of Pentacles is, is that hasn't come in yet. It's stationary because it's planning, it's thinking, it's working out how to come in. It's slow. It's an earth energy sign, okay? It's a slow mover. Um, so for a lot of you, this the, the theme that's running here for the collective, it's certainly looking at money, security, stability, foundation. So for many of you, it's going to be a career or just how you're living, what you feel is secure. For a lot of you, it's someone coming in or something coming in, someone, something like a job career that makes you review your long-term future and restructure it, okay? Or rethink it. Some of you aren't gonna like it or people around you aren't gonna like this or hearing this, but there's too many options and opportunities coming in here and we need to pick and work out which one we're gonna do and bring it in. So there's, there's definitely a rethinking energy here after this um, eclipse energy, I would say, at the end of May, in that Sagittarius full moon lunar eclipse and then we have this June energy coming in. So we're gonna ask for some, oh, I've got some validation of, yeah, wow. There's definitely for my water signs where you haven't been able to take action because the King of Wands takes actions. No gender with the cards. Put it where it fits. Don't make it fit. It's either for you or the message or it's not. Reverse. The King of Wands reversed. It was reversed, sorry. Um, that's not taking action. Um not making that final decision or moving forward or making the change. So somewhere where you haven't been making a change or making that decision to head in a new direction, let's say, it looks like you're gonna get the strength and the courage and that is your reward. You're gonna feel confident. You're gonna be able to do it. You're gonna move forward. You're gonna speak up, speak out, or you, you reveal or someone reveals information to you that brings a towel moment. Happy surprise, negative surprise, that'll depend where or what's going on in your individual chart. But, oh wow, this keeps coming up. We did talk about, on every reading, the very last card is the karmic card, end of karmic cycles, or you're, you're about to head on a very karmic path. So look at all your options. Choose the right cup for you. And we don't know the right cup and cup unless all the truth comes out or we're incredibly truthful with ourselves. Not your truth, not my truth, not other people's truth, the truth of your inner, inner truth, your connection to truth, God, energy, source, universe. And we talk about that in the full moon reading. You have to go very inward emotionally. This is something that is going to take you inwardly emotional in the month of June, but it actually, whether it's overwhelming or brings heart alignment or activation, it ends a cycle for you. So my water signs, you have definitely been stuck in something or with someone or vice versa. Um, and you are definitely, definitely in the month of June going to plan, strategize, organize, get the information, slowly, practically logic, and you are expanding your horizons. You're growing, you're going, you're changing, or you're traveling, or you're moving, all right? Um, <clears throat> some of you I heard closing something down. That's interesting. That's only for a small part, few of you. This is definitely to do with em empress, usually a business, making a final decision, a long thought out decision. Um, we create an empire, can be career, can be business, can be a company, can be someone you work for, can be an idea, or you're reviewing this. You're looking at this and making long term decisions here, stable ones, that's good for all. The emperor looks at, a good emperor looks at what's good for all, gathers all the pieces of information and then makes a decision. 
If that was a love issue, it feels like a final decision will be made on is this my happiness? Is this my long term? Um, and for some of you, a very small group of you, this is someone coming into your life that is, is an emperor energy, emperor energy, emperor or en empress energy, um, either or, male or female, that actually shows you that they can do it. They can take the reins. They can take control. You know, they, they're an emperor. Um, it's something either you don't like or you didn't see or you're not used to or you didn't know was coming in, or, or, or but you're ready. You know, this is you doing it. This is you restricting it. This is you not allowing it. Um, and you're going to look at all your choices there. I'm going to get a bit more clarity on that because the emperor... Yep, I knew it. It's about relationships or security or stability or my foundation. So this is definitely about a relationship or it's definitely about a work, career or company or both. This is all about relationships and foundation and security and stability. You're reviewing it or you're reviewing something about it or someone's come in for some of you in a relationship. I nearly want to feel oh, I feel like I nearly 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 want to say um, you have to let them be the emperor or call the shots oh I don't want that to come out the wrong way uh, take the lead take the reins not take over not control not say that's what we're doing but you know when an emperor comes in, he can handle those decisions. You can go, ah, oh, take the reins for a little while. So if you're not used to that, I feel like for some of you, that is coming in in a long-term relationship. Someone's really reviewing this long-term, okay? We've, got the, we've also got the queen, the mother, the nurturer. They see you as a nurturer, a mother, someone I could have a family with, you work, you whatever. But there's a block here. That's the bit I don't get. They're making a major karmic decision to either go in that direction or leave. I'm out. And it's funny, that has come up in a few readings. It's either I'm out or we're going on a long karmic journey here. And I think that's why there's this either overwhelm or heart activation. And they're ready to expand. They're ready to clear that up within themselves. It's you and they or them or vice versa or both of you. Okay. Um, it's where action wouldn't or couldn't be taken with that. Yeah, absolutely. Where action, this reversed. They might have been doing them too and just thinking about them and doing what they want to do. But they were very stuck, very set very inflexible, not willing to change. A decision's being made, a direction's being called forth. And where they didn't like it, where they didn't want to grow, where they didn't want to learn, where they thought they knew it all, where they, where they were still learning or growing because we have the page there, they've got this strength back. And here we've got the Queen of Wands taking action. Um, knowing my worth, taking action, being ready, following through. Queen of Wands follows through. She always gets what she wants because she follows through to the end. She, she goes all the way. Um, and she knows her worth and she says, I'm ready to come correct or you come correct if you're coming in. And there's definitely a conversation or a speaking up or a speaking out or a truth or a revelation or an epiphany that someone says or you say. Um, it brings a tower moment. It takes someone very inward emotionally. Keep your emotional balance there. It's a new beginning. It's the justice, balance, and commitment. So something's ending here and someone's committing. And this is justice, reward, balance, and, and a contract. It's, I'm deciding to do this. Um, if there was a third party or people in the way um, or a situation that can be work, people, places, a situation and experience in the way, it looks like they're ready to move forward. Definitely transformation where it was blocked or where you were blocked is happening for my water signs. 
that you couldn't see coming. Absolute transformation. Epiphany, revelation, moving forward. And here you are. There's this very scorpionic card, the, the high priestess here, moving forward. It's like you've got your answer. You know your answer. You know your direction. You're very clear. And there's choices here, by the way. Um, now, this is interesting. This emperor or career or business that's to do with security, stability, or relationships. We have the king of swords. So this was someone who may have been very cut off or disconnected from their emotions or they're very in the head or work driven or work related or just kept work, you know. Um, nothing wrong with that, but we always need balance. Um, they're reviewing that. For others of you, it could be you. You could be too, this is, uh, take it if it resonates, if it doesn't. This could be awakening. If you're too, um, I don't want to say the word, you know, well, the, the emperor can be bossy, call the shots. And it's in a hard way, a harsh way, a cold way, a cut off way, a quick, you know, the swords cut you out and it's very mental energy. There's no emotional connection here. It's a reaction rather than a processing of emotions and what's going on. If that was you or is you or someone around you or vice versa, um, it's affecting your, it's like you're going to know it affects your security, stability, foundation, relationship, something like that. That's only for a very small few of you. And that just could be a little aspect of a healing that's got to come out in June. But it's all about new beginnings. It's all about action and direction being taken where it couldn't or wouldn't. It's final. It's, it's a karmic destined direction. Okay. Um, and then we go on a karmic journey with that for quite a long time. Um, and you must, and it's definitely for all you um, water signs. Um, give me just two more. Okay, two more. Yep, absolutely. Same as when we started. The chariot's moving forward. It's all moving forward. Okay, you're moving forward. No more stuckness. But there is a bit of rethinking, recalibrating, resetting, rejigging, or thinking mm, there's more. Or something's going to come in that shows you and makes you think, wow. There's more, okay? And it is happening and it's moving forward. You can't stop a chariot. Yes, you make the decision, like the emperor. The decision is made, but you can't stop this from happening. So that's what I'm feeling. Don't disconnect. Don't um, cut off your emotions or anything like that or get too into your head or too analytical. It feels like it's more like, you know, be water and flow, you know, but, you know, don't get too deep into those emotions. So we're at 17, 18. We'll do um, cancer. Let's get some cards for cancer for the month of June. Just a message for my signs of cancer. Oh, yep. Anyone, anywhere, anything? Oh, gosh. Oh, Cancer. It's a little heavy, I'm not going to lie. Um, anyone, anything that's not working with you or for you, or you thought they were and they're not, or you, it's not flowing or it's not functioning, um, this is where we, a mother card or a female, if you're dealing with that, but it's also about nurturing, being nurtured, where you're being nurtured, vice versa. If you're dealing with a mother or a mother issue, um, something you didn't want to look at or you didn't see or is about to be revealed or a temporary restriction or hold up. I feel you didn't want to see it or you didn't want to face it or that truth. Um, it's like a final decision will be made and I think it's you that makes it. I think you're this emperor energy and you're going to look at your long-term future. So can I do this long-term? Is this sustainable long-term? Is this really what I want anymore? Okay, is this really what I enjoy anymore? So, um, if cancer is in this, what energy, what, what was the block? What, what was blocking them? What, why, what has been holding them up? Oh, wow. Just staying too set, too stuck, too rigid, too set in your old ways. Um, and it, it, this is a deep emotional uh, subconscious fear or trigger while you're doing that. But it's time to reach out. Where's your love? Where's the connection? Where's the romance? Where's the fun? Where's the, you know, the new path? It's about new and the leap of faith. It's like there's a new path, new direction, and you don't want to look at it. You didn't want to see it. Or you couldn't see it, and now it's coming in. 
The new path brings more abundance, more nurture than you can possibly imagine, imagine or whether that's a partner, career, or a decision or something you're in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's the new path. There's so much success and happiness and brightness and, and everything, but you don't want to see it. You don't want to listen to it. You don't want to hear it. Could be someone around you that you're working with too. Um, put it where it fits, but there seems like a very strong message there for you, Cancer. <coughs> I'll, I'll nearly say what <coughs> sorry <coughs> i'm choking now what are you avoiding there that see choking what are you avoiding expressing saying where are you choked up where are you not willing to look at this or move forward on this new path or take this leap of faith so i think that's going to be your challenge and i think that is for the month of june you really reviewing that and also with that full moon eclipse you know that's going to reveal a lot to you so let's get scorpio on 21 what's going on for my scorpio message for the month of june message for the month of june scorpio oh what is it scorpio hidden ah thank you oh my god Scorpio card, High Priestess, I said hidden, secret might be revealed, something hidden, something you, you didn't know, or if you knew, you weren't ready to tell it, or I feel there's a hidden secret, something deep, something um, within you. The High Priestess is very intuitive as well, Scorpionic card, but there's a timing for everything with, with her. Um, oh, wow, Scorpio. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You could have Scorpio in your chart or be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you're about to put the past behind you, Scorpio, or they are. Stand in their true authenticity. This is a divine union. This is a higher divine union. There is a coming together. Look at the equal energy, Scorpio. Whenever I talked about in that collective energy, you know, where is that, um, that emperor energy and... This is equal give and take. No one's bossing the other one. No one's got more power than the other one. No one's, it's, it's very equal energy exchange. You know that release, surrender, let it come to you, work together, both step up. It's like that energy, but heartbreak here, the past. Someone's moving past the past. Someone's moving past a heartbreak, trauma, old hurt, old wound, old something. It could be you. It could be the person you're dealing with. The chariot's moving it forward. Reward card, wish fulfillment, manifestation coming in. So some of you Scorpios have been trying to manifest or bring in this union, divine union, twin flame, whatever, partner, connection, togetherness. But someone's been hurt or still stuck in past hurt or trauma. Looks like the strength and the courage is coming past. There is absolute clarity. Wow. For some of my Scorpios in a union or divine union, uh, someone gets a lot of clarity here. A lot of clarity. They may have cut off their emotions because of hurt, because of the past, because of the pain, because of the struggle. Or you did vice versa you could be both playing that game and um and i heard sh i just heard shut down something in you or they did and there is an absolute transformation epiphany revelation healing whatever you want to call it expansion probably because of the eclipse that is going to transform you and move you forward and move everything forward the chariot look at that and then we've got Putting all your tools, all your knowledge, all your skills, moving, moving house, moving direction, moving into that new flow, that new direction, and knowing, and it is reward, and it is activated, and it is being put out there in the universal quantum energy flow, or as I like to say, the Wi-Fi system of our energy vibrational flow to the divine union. Whew. So, one more card. No, I've got two or three more cards to come. <laughs> All right, messages for Scorpio. There was a growing, there was a learning here, though. I can see that because we've got the Page of Swords. Now, that represents the Page has still got to grow, still got to learn something, okay? Um, it can be an immature, it can be a spying, a gossiping, you know, a not-so-great card there. But 
are not really getting that. Yeah, there's just a massive death and rebirth going on here. There is communication. Oh my gosh, there's something fast moving, information, confirmation, or something very fast out of the blue. Um, we've got security, stability, foundation, relationship, very clear, ready to take action, and there's the divine counterpart. Well, I think this is about, um, and it's being activated for you. If it's not happening in June, this is what's activating after that eclipse. Because the eclipse energy goes for six months, goes the next one's hits in December. So yeah, someone's moving past. Um, we're seeing the big picture now, but you're gonna let things unfold organically, naturally, balance, patient. But someone or you who cut off their emotions through hurt, pain, suffering, they are starting to look and come out of it. This is Sagittarius. This is expansion, growth. This is going beyond where you are, looking into the future. Yep, receiving where you had conflict before. So there it is, Scorpio. Now I better move to Pisces and 26. Okay, what's the message for Pisces? Or June, collective of Pisces. Month of June, collective in Pisces. Month of June, collective of Pisces. Thank you. Someone, or you, Pisces, on oh, the chair, is going to have a revelation or epiphany or think outside the box or a new start. It's like a new start. I've got a reset. And um, the King of Pentacles here, and he's reviewing, he's been very focused on his work. He understands enjoyment, um, joy, prosperity, abundance. He does things long term. He's very stable. He's very secure. That could be you or someone you're dealing with. Um, but there's a big reset here someone to me is rethinking rethinking long-term future rethinking what is their happiness joy abundance okay making a very karmic decision wow that karma card keeps coming out this king of pentacles no gender here male females really looking at their long-term security stability joy it's to do with a union a relationship a passion a desire whatever could be a career passion but to me it feels very relationshipy because there's karma either closing out or cycles closing out and we set very long-term karmic cycles so they're very they're looking into this long term what their long time they're weighing up the pros and cons they're looking at all the information they could be signing a contract to do this this could be someone who is contracted to a soulmate okay that seems like it's coming in for you and we have the um page of swords here um information on the page of swords please because that That's interesting. That's a bit of a twist there. The page is very young, still wants to grow, still has growing, learning to do. Um, they can be a little immature, uh, not handle things right, deceit, deception, but we've got um, wish fulfillment here. So it could be where you've been deceiving yourself about someone or something, or where they've been deceiving themselves about you. Okay, and they've realized it's my wish fulfillment, but I'm just ignoring it or something like that. <laughs> yeah, where it's been blocked. Someone here, and this makes sense now, someone here's been very blocked, stuck, or you've been blocked, or you've nothing moving, stagnant, rock in a hard place, not willing, not wanting to look at new ways, new ideas, epiphanies, thinking outside the box anything entrepreneur not wanting to not ready because they were triggered that is a fear or a trauma triggered in their subconscious but i feel like they're reviewing all this they're way up in their head or they've been way way up in their head healing um karma's coming in or a karmic cycle where they didn't want to look at it or they refused they're, they're now going to look at it okay they're going to offer this love romance connection 
Or let's say it's not about that for you and it's about career, you're about to reach out, you're about to do that pattern, that, that passion, sorry, or that career or that direction where you were blocking it, where you couldn't do it. Yeah, long-term future. The universe is kind of stepping in here and the karma is definitely about relationship or long-term security, stability, foundation. There's something karmic going on here for you. For, for a lot of you, the universe is stepping in and setting this up or divine timings involved. Um, I've got a strong feel this is about, yep, death and rebirth in a relationship. Someone's had to rethink, relook, re re -jig. They've now got the strength, the courage, the confidence to come and make that connection. Or if that was about your career, you've now got that courage, strength um, of direction. Where they were too, being too analytical, up in their head, had more growing, had my learning, had more epiphanies and revelations to where it realized, which is probably going to come from the full moon, they are now using their intuition or their intuition or something from higher perspective like the universe is going to awaken them or they're stepping into their feeling, their feels, all right? Um, but this is interesting because this person was, was in denial. Even if they knew what their wish fulfillment was, they were avoiding it. They were deceiving themselves. They were talking themselves out of it. They might not be ready. They could have commitment issues. Who knows? You could have issues of commitment, wanting to do it. But see, that passion comes in. This is a contract. This is balance. This is justice. This is doing it, okay? Decision made. And, and here we got the um, king of wands, which represents taking action having that confidence, being clear, speaking up, speaking out. A decision has been made about a direction, absolutely. They had to go very inward and struggle and fight. But universe, again, there's a new beginning. They want to go to their empress or, you know, have that nurtured feeling or create new or a new cycle or birth a new cycle of them, of their life. So this is a message from spirit that they will get or you will get about a new beginning. It could be a text, an email, an invite, an outing, and um, it is part of the new beginning or the reset. The re You get a reset, restart, recycle. So that's really, really good, Pisces. Looking good for the month of June. But, you know, I'm not going to, um, you know, sugarcoat this and, and make it sound all... all roses because you know we have that eclipse that eclipse is going to stir up so much energy for everybody and emotions will be running high as well um, and we may not feel quite sure what we want or we might feel a little disconnected or ungrounded because or foggy because um there's major shifts and awakenings and spiritual growths growth going on so keep that in mind because you are a water sign water is about emotions so and there was something in that reading full moon reading about where pisces is in your chart two degrees in your chart it's very watery emotional you know rush of emotions overwhelm so just check that out pisces because that could activate something in this full moon and a June energy for you. So thank you, everyone. Hit that like button. I'll see you next month. I hope this helped. Thank you. Bye.